that pepper. Today's video is going to be about different tinders you can use to start your fire. So, tinder is really important because if you don't have tinder, you don't have anything. That's sort of the base of your fire. Um, so if you start out with kindling, which is basically small wood, like it's going to be a really long time for you to start your fire unless you have a ca can of gasoline or something, which is not really safe. So I guess I'll just start off with some kindling. Um, so the first kindling is dry leaves. Dry leaves are really good kindling because it's dry, there's not very much moisture in it, and you can find it out in the wilderness if you forgot any tinder. Um, so, it's really easy to light if you have the right kind of lighter. I mean, I don't know if it would work with flint and steel or... And so, dry, that's, that's a few reasons why dry leaves are good. And there they go. Next, you have paper. Something easy to bring on a camp out. I mean, it comes from your house, you know, a newspaper or something like that. At my place, we just keep a stock of papers in our little recycling box. Sorry. For, um, whenever we need a you know, fire building, burning trash, you know. We're just taking it to your recycling place. So. Paper's really good, it's easily flammable, unless it's, um, unless it's wet. Now, let's not get our paper blown away like our leaves did, and weigh it down. Next, we have a pencil sharpener, and a dull pencil. Those are good, er, because... Like paper, um, it's dry, and you have a little compartment inside your uh, hand sharpener where you can store um, your pencil shavings after you get done. Cause it's really easy to sharpen stuff, sharpen your pencil with. But you kind of have to do it a lot to have a good amount of tinder for your fire with a pencil sharpener like this. So it can take a few minutes for you to get at least a little bit enough. So the best thing is to save up for it. You know, save up. You know, have like a plastic bag af after a few times of sharpening your pencil with a, a grinding one, you know, with a handle. So next we have bark. Now bark's really good because. You can find this out in the wild too, like the leaves. I like the shag bark hickory um, bark because it comes. It's really easy to get off the trees, and it's separated off the trees. Some parts of it are, so it isn't damp like oak tree or something. You know, if you try to take bark off of that, the bark is gonna come off in little chunks and it's gonna be wet on the inside. It's a little tough, so I'll break it into pieces. Not just get a big bulk size like this and, and try to use that for a fire. That won't work very good. Last, we got a little weed here. You can find these everywhere. They have these little branches that stick out, like, like here. And those are really easy to snap off and cause a little fire if you have, like, a bird's nest or something. Um made out of the <coughs> dead grass and they have little leaflets and fuzzy things on the ends I'm not sure what those are and those are really easy to light now th those aren't all the things you could bring to start a fire with you could have brought like dryer lint that's really easy to, um, <coughs> to light so and you could also bring you also bring cotton balls just like dry lint, but not as warm. Just cotton ball is something really quick and easy. Um, you know, little sticks, dry grass. Um, that's really good stuff to start a fire with. 